negotiate with rune terrorists. I've got 500,000 souls. See you in hell. I got all these souls last night farming the, uh, the boss fight here with jolly cooperators. I'm not taking those, that, that's like 15 levels. I'm gonna ruin the whole game for myself. I'm not gonna level up endurance 15 times. See ya. Doesn't bother me in the slightest, man. Literally just like a drop in the bucket. You're sick, you're sick. This is how I win. All right, I'll get these ones though. Okay, let me check on something here. We're up to 88 rune arcs, I gotta say. Having, um, helping on this boss fight is way funnier. Not necessarily better, but way funnier than helping out on the Misbegotten Warrior and Crucible uh, night fight. Because on this fight, the, by the way, Business Goose 69, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. On this uh, boss fight, if you're fighting for the first time, you have to let the host choose if they want to watch a two-minute cutscene. So what happens, mm, I'd say about 25% of the time that you get summoned here, the host watches the entire two-minute cutscene where the guy's like, you are all of a piece. Get melted by Morgoth, the last true king. And then by the time the cutscene ends and like fades to black, you run in here, Morgoth is holding the spear, he throws it, and kills the host in a single hit because they never level their HP ever, even at this stage of the game. Multiple times, like in an hour of summoning last night, I just sat here, watched the whole cutscene. Thy kind are all of a piece. I, I'm like, you know, the fog walls here. I run in, and then as soon as I get to about this cobblestone, the host has the host of fingers has been killed returning to your world anyway where the hell were we man oh my god I, we, we were underground I think we were in the I think we were around the nameless eternal the, the, I think we were around I, I we were in Nakron right but we weren't below the well we were like over here somewhere I don't know where the hell I am, man. Maybe we're, the, maybe we're in the Nameless Eternal City? That sounds right. You can also talk to Rani. Oh! Is, is she at the Ninth Mount Gelmir campsite? No, no, no. She's at Rani's Temple, which is like around here somewhere. Rani's Rise! I'm figuring it all out, man. The shit winds are blowing, Ranny. I can't give you the casino. We don't even know what we're betting on yet. Will NL do a smasher pass of uh, current and former first ladies of the United States of America? Believers or doubters? Remember that time I threw away half a million souls? Yep. Not blithe it seemeth. Yep. Even in my slumber I said. I mean Blythe did some seriously good stuff on the Radon boss fight. The hidden treasure. I'm not gonna hate on that. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Uh that kind are all of a piece. Upon the dark path only I may tread. I saw you by the way. There was uh there was a chair and more god, because I've seen the cutscene twenty times now. More God is like, and the Witch Queen Rannies. I'm on to your, I don't know exactly what you're doing, but I, you're on to something. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. The Carrion Inverted Statue. What the hell? Why don't you just flip it over, man? It's only inverted because of its, its current rotation. Whoops. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. I am sir. I must thank you, May. It was but brief. You're welcome. Okay, hold on. So people are like, go to the tower? I gotta be straight up with you. Now that I have like, so many great runes, 
I gotta go to these towers, man. Because, like, I've only activated Godric's Great Rune. I haven't even, like, I know this is the Divine Tower of Kaelid, right? Because I've seen it on other streams. I think I've been to, wait, no, I've been to this one. This is the one where you activate Godric's. This is the one where you activate, that's a tree? Ah, oh, whatever. You only need Godric's? If you say so. Hold on, let, I can figure this out, okay? You just gotta go to your key items. I guess you do only need Godric's, now that I look at it. Inverted statue. To unveil the secret, affix it to the pedestal of the celestial globe. Alright, Chad, I'm gonna need your help on that one. <laughs> Where the hell is the pedestal? Where's the carrion study hall and the pedestal of the celestial grove? Hold on, let me let me try something, okay? Can I sort alphabetically? Carrion study hall. It's not in. The, I thought it would have been next to the church of the Cucko. It's right under Liernia's name. Oh, so it's like, is it this, this location right here? Yes. Well, you may find yourself fast traveling to an artist shack. Good work, Jack. Good work. And then we wish to travel to that son of a gun right there. I'm assuming. How does one enter the location? Lower. Okay. Talking Heads Pog. One of the most Pog bands out there, without a doubt. Call Uber. Anybody else get, like, the most ridiculous uh, ads from Uber of all time? Like, I don't, look, I know people don't like Uber, and that's fair. But the only thing I'll say about it is, like, an everybody sucks here. Because taxis also suck, and occasionally, um, when I'm in them, I fear for my life. But I take Uber when I need to take Uber. Maybe we could start, like... Hold on, I think we can do this. I don't like plan my life around Uber, but the Uber Corporation seems to believe that I'm basically, I guess for their purposes, this is true. I'm essentially just a line item on their accounting that is like my demand for Uber doesn't change based on my lifestyle. My demand for Uber changes on how often I get advertised to. Like I'm gonna get an email that's like, hey, go out and enjoy yourself tonight. Did you forget that uh, we're a service that allows you to do ride sharing? And I'm like, no, man. You're honestly, you would be like my first choice. I hate to admit it, but you would be my first choice if I was leaving my house right now. But I'm not, so I'm not just gonna call you just to have you know like a conversation or something. Dude, we can platform down this. Look at this is like a staircase. Maybe not. Hey, TUS, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Is it tool assisted speedrun? TUS? I don't think I've ever seen these fools. Thank you, thank you. Lift, I, I have no problem with lift. Most, I feel like we never got the time in Vancouver. To really, because like, okay, look, I, the first time I went to San Francisco, I think it was like 2014, everybody was going ape shit about Uber. You wouldn't believe this. Uber. You, we don't have to take taxis anymore. You could just take an Uber instead. Um, you know, you, you want to order some delivery? Sure. What do you want? Pizza or Chinese food? Nah, man, we got Uber now. We can get whatever the hell we want. Uh, it was like an exotic thing to be able to go to a, another place in the world and it, it felt kind of like it was the future, right? And then we um, 
the government would not allow rideshare services to operate here in order to protect the taxi lobby, which I actually, in hindsight, have come to see as kind of based because Uber's entire business model was basically just expanding as fast as possible before slow bureaucratic entities could possibly uh, react in time. And then by the time they were like, hold on, this shit's got some problems, it was too late, the society had become completely dependent on them, right? So, like, we didn't really get a time to use Uber and be stoked about it. Then, by the time we got Uber, we go to San Francisco and everybody's like, I don't use Uber anymore. The CEO is a dickhead. Now we use Lyft. All the cars have, like, pink mustaches. You guys got your guilt-free Uber time. Take me down. We didn't get any guilt-free Uber time. By the time it came to Vancouver, everybody was like, Fuck you! This is literally straight out of Dark Souls 3. I have seen this environment in Dark Souls 3. No, don't tell me about the pedestal. Because someone in chat said, There's two modes to the dungeon. Do the dungeon first, and then put the thing on the pedestal. We are so insanely over-leveled here. Can't you just use the Skytrain? I love the Skytrain. There's some serious gaps in it. You know, if you're going downtown, or if you're going um, to Surrey, or if you're going to the eastern part of the greater Vancouver metro, you're in a great spot. If you're going to UBC, you're on your damn own. Not that you would probably use an Uber to get to UBC to begin with, but... Does Vancouver not have an amazing bus system? It does have an amazing bus system, but, you know, if you're trying to get from some place to another at, like, 1 a.m. when the buses aren't running, uh, then, like, best of luck to you. And best of luck to you with a taxi as well. Okay, I can, I'm not scared. We can dodge this. This is just Radon 2.0. No sweat. If the buses stop running, the buses aren't that amazing. You know in Japan, the subway just stops running at like 10.30 p.m.? Eh, maybe it's later than that. I was jet lagged. Two AM on sun some lines, genius. The Glintstone staff. Where where the heck is the the Phantom man? Try two handing. Offer something incredible in short. Praise the message. Come on, man. Come on. Begging. The Skytrain is sick. Sometimes you need to go, like, to the airport faster. <laughs> that's, that's where some ride sharing can help you out for sure. And honestly, like, that this part of my life is behind me. But getting out of, like, a Vancouver bar downtown and trying to get a taxi is actually, like, the original Battle Royale. Just, like... You know, 500 people standing next to the Gassy Jack statue fighting over, like, eight different, uh... Come on, man! Fighting over eight different yellow cabs. Like, it's... Despair ahead. Time for waving. I'm gonna hit you. It was so worth... I'm gonna get you. And then all these fools are gonna die at the same time. <laughs> Probably. Where are you going? You're never gonna hit me with that. Just so you know, this is the worst fight in the game. Uh, wrong. This is this does not appear to be Radon. Try ranged battle. Whoops, I have gestured. That's probably where I came up. There's the ladder. There's the ladder. Ladder? <clears throat> this might be worse? No, 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 Radon. Oh, but if, yeah, that's true. I guess I am overleveled. 
You can't call me over leveled anymore though, because I spent, uh, or I spent, I threw away 500,000 souls like less than 15 minutes ago. The chandeliers? Yeah, okay. I see. I understand. I did it. Another ladder. Did what? Hello? Sir? Are, whoa! What are you doing? Just hanging out? <laughs> what happened? I missed the start of the stream. I spent some time last night farming uh, co-op on Morgoth. But I refused to invest those souls into my future. So I just jumped off the edge deliberately two times. The Cerulean Seed Talisman. Ew! Better mana flasks? Disgusting. See ya. <laughs> that was not a wise move. Oh, man. More pizza cutter? I like restricting myself to only using the pizza cutter uh, two times. That's the end of the, the first dungeon anyway? Oh, okay, no, no worries then. I'll examine the pedestal. I see all the... Because every time I got summoned for Morgoth, the host was just like a guy with a shield. And then there was me coming in in like the full crucible outfit. Well, except the pants and the gloves because I don't have the endurance for that yet. Um, and then the other person I got that got summoned had like the Burger King mask and just a big blue stick. And they just start the, the battle by going... Burp. Burp. Over and over. Like... She's driving me crazy, man. That's boring. For me, at least. You can do whatever you like. It's boring for me. Who uh, is upside down? The dungeon's upside down? Am I stupid? Strong foe ahead. I can't take this. There's no way. Okay, there's a way. Can you DM Dan to tell him to raise his stats? Or his vigor? Oh, no. Dan, he's a stubborn individual. And it's hard to argue with somebody who doesn't want to raise their vigor. Because they are right. Like, there's no reason that you have to raise your vigor. You can absolutely win without raising it. It's just gonna take you a long, long, long time. Like, a long, long time. Just fall. I'm just gonna heal for a second. I think we got you. I just gotta play my cards right. That's horrible. That's horrendous. Like, I, I watched Squeaks. I don't know. I, I, I had to leave before the end of the stream. I'm dead. Yeah. I had to leave before the end of Squeaks' stream. Uh, but... He fought Radon like, you know, probably like 10 times after fighting him like for a couple hours a few nights ago. And was it the same way? He's like, I'm, I don't think I should waste time like leveling my weapon because it's like easy mode. I don't think I should waste time leveling Vit because it makes it like too easy. And then he was like, should I level? He, he relented. He was like, should I level HP? Should I like upgrade my weapon? All it took was one trip to the round table hold. He was able to take his 
Golden Halberd from plus one, which is like, I mean, the fact that he got to Radon with a plus one weapon is hilarious. He took it from plus one to like plus six or seven. So he did like literally triple damage with every hit or something like that. And then leveled up like a few times. And all of a sudden, like it wasn't easy, but it was like doable. Then it, it only took him like half a dozen attempts after that. Which I think is where I, I like the difficulty curve to be for most bosses as well. Dan, I don't know though. It's like the harder you push Dan, like the more he moves in the other direction. Which is fine. Like if he's willing to, to go to that level of dedication, like more power to you. But even when we were talking about doing speedruns, like, uh, or like races in Super Mario 64, I was like, well, what if we did like a race where you started and you got like a 15 minute head start and then uh, like I'll start when you beat Bowser 1 or something like that and we'll see if I can catch up. And he took offense to it. He's like, what, you don't think I can beat you like one on one? I'm like, N not yet. You've only done like two runs. I played this shit for like a hundred hours. Like it's just unreasonable. He's right. He's not right at all. Is this just it's it's not BM? Hello. I had a dream. Okay. And it was in the dream, and then we lined up to get his signature. We lined up to get Dan's signature. Yeah. It's a it's a humorous concept. And then, but we didn't have pen and paper, so I bought a bunch of bananas. So that he can sign you, all the Dan signed our bananas? Yeah. Interesting dream. What could it mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's banana emoji Danji. Banana emoji Danji. Where is Danji? What's Danji? That's Dan Giesling's name? Oh, I thought that was. I guess I gotta go on to the beams, man. It's a damn nightmare. Where the hell am I? I never should have smoked that shit. Now I'm lost in Roku City. It's not BM in the in the slightest, man. It's like if Dan and I were having like a big brother competition, big brother trivia. And he was like, I'll spot you five questions or something like that. I would be like, that seems fair. I wouldn't be like, what, you don't think I could beat you one on one? There's no chance I could beat him one on one. My avatar isn't even a Big Brother contestant. It's not be, a you guys live in a fantasy world where like everything is like, oh, if I went, if I golfed against Phil Mickelson, like I wouldn't want him to give me a handicap to keep it interesting. I would want him to just blow me away by fucking. You know, 70 strokes. I would just want to get destroyed instead for the literally 0.0000001% chance that he dies on the course. And then I win by default, which would not be resin. That would be fair. It could happen. People, you know, they, they overestimate the frequency of rare events. Didn't expect down, so to speak. Didn't expect up. So true. Can I open this? <laughs> okay. I don't know, dude. I don't feel like I got the leverage to push this thing open. Cutscene. Cutscene, a aka boss fight. It's a large pillar. You're crazy for this one, Miyazaki. Oh, is that a boss for sure? For sure. So I think, again, you know, it's really just a question. I mean, here's where I think the folly is, right? In Dark Souls 1, once you get good at the game, 
You could just level strength to 60. You know the boss patterns. You got absolutely nothing to worry about. You know, you roll three times. You hit him with a big hammer. You get tapped in the head by, like, Havel's armor. Or with Havel's armor on. It does no damage to you. Who cares? Thick skin noble? Still strong. I'm out of here. But, like, in Elden Ring... The difficulty level of Elden Ring is legitimately like... It's like 2x Dark Souls. I mean, I recognize the irony when I'm just doing like brainless jumping attacks over and over. But the bosses have insane patterns. Like in Dark Souls uh, 1, we were, we were much more naive back then, don't get me wrong. But in Dark Souls 1, the bosses literally just hit like one time. And then occasionally, they would hit two times. And you would be like, whoa, two times? This guy's hard. I'm not used to that level of aggression. In this, they literally, they'll do like a... Radon has like a 15 hit combo. That hurt me. Don't don't roll. I'm insane. Help, help. I didn't think you had that kind of range on you, just being honest. That's a nasty combo, be careful. I deserve to be dead, honestly. I deserve that. For my greed, I deserve that. We were totally, we, we could have soloed this guy with absolutely no problem. And then I decided, go brain empty. I feel like you have 3x the flasks in this game. Well, you can get like a lot of flasks. But like, you know, again, if you don't level Vigor, who cares? <laughs> like, no, it doesn't matter if you have 20 flasks if like every attack does... 80 to 200 percent of your HP, which is why you gotta. It's why you gotta level your HP a little bit. I'm saying this like as the person who was like, I'm never gonna level my HP. I'm just never gonna get hit. But now, like, I'm further ahead in the game than Dan. I'm here to tell you that is a life that that will lead you to misery. I mean, like, not not to be rude. If you're getting stuck at Renala. For hours, like you don't even know what's coming for you. The the game hasn't even started yet. I'm going in, I don't give a shit. Go ahead, dark flame me. Beautiful. I'm gonna heal. I mean, he's so dead already. Just get up. You already hit me. You know how it goes. You need a better weapon. You've actually, like, lost your mind. If anything, like, this weapon is probably too powerful. It's, it's made some of the bosses, like, basically trivial. Is this not a normal mob? You don't even know what you're talking about. Just sit back, watch the entertainment. Don't worry about it. The pizza cutter's doing great work. This is literally a boss. We beat him. We still got six flasks. Don't sweat it. Put on his clothes. I'm really attached to the Crucible Knight garb because I farmed them for so long, but I'll, I'll take a look, okay? Does it, does it give us prodigious size alone? Does not dissuade the, the blade? It, it does give us some prodigious size. Does he have gloves? Did he come with gloves? He does come with gloves. I kind of hate it.
but we can use it for a bit. Am I, I might be on light roll. No, not quite. Crucible Night Gear is way cooler. I, I couldn't agree more, but you know what? I mean, I, I had my time in the sun with Smo's armor. Dan has a follower goal, follower goal to start leveling Vigor. <sighs> what a guy. I don't like what's on the back of this cape, by the way. Like, what? what is that? Don't answer, maybe? It looks like um, Jason Alexander's tail from Shallow Hal. You know what it is. I don't want to know what it is, but I think I do know what it is. Get in my belly! It really does look like someone glued an acorn to the bottom of his torso. <laughs> I watched Shallow Hell this weekend. Shallow Hell, it came out 2001. I was probably 12 years old when I watched it. I was so excited. How could you go wrong? It's got Jack Black. It's got George Costanza from the directors of Dumb and Dumber. Even as a 12-year-old watching that movie, I was like, this is garbage. Just pure ass. And that was in an era, like, I, you know, I was not offended watching Shallow Hal as a 12-year-old. At the time, I didn't realize that perhaps his messaging was a little problematic. I, that, that came later in time. As a child, I was just like, not funny. Okay, look, I'll give you an upvote on that one. The curse mark of death. And also the stargazer heirloom. Raises intelligence. Not interested. And then what the heck did we get? Some kind of the mark of death. There it is. Curse mark carved into Lunar Princess Rani's discarded flesh. It was carved at the moment of death of the first demigod and should have taken the shape of a circle. However, two demigods perished at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half wheels. Rani was the first of the demigods whose flesh perished while the Prince of Death perished in soul alone. You guys get all that? <laughs> That's a secret. Okay, okay. So I'm, you're done here? All you gotta do is go back to Ranny's corpse. I mean, Ranny's copes. Sure, let's do that. Go back to Ranny's rise. <clears throat> now go to Three Sisters and explore the other... Explore the other towers. I don't know what the hell the three sisters are, man. Are they chilling at the round table hold? It's where you are. Oh. Oh, yeah. Why do they call them the sisters when they're buildings? Three Sisters is right after Two Princes. Yo, imagine a 12 Days of Christmas, but 12 Days of Christmas, like, squared, where you listen to... First, you listen to a, One Love by Bob Marley. Then you listen to Two Princes, then One Love by Bob Marley. Then you listen to, like, We Three Kings. Two Princes, One Love. Then you listen to Damaged Goods by Fortet. We three kings, two princes, one love. She ain't even here, man. Oh, it's, it's sorry, it's by Gang of Four, not Fortet. That's my mistake. Okay, we gotta go to the other sisters. Just take me back to the bottom. Touch the grace. I forgot that that was not 
Uh, I, I forgot that was a new grace. It's my my problem. It's my my mistake. I apologize. Five Years by David Bowie. Great song. Great song. No doubt about that. That's a great song. That's pretty true. Oh, but that's true. You also got I Got Five on it, which is also an incredible song. feel like you really, like, once you get over, like, five, there's not that many songs that have, like, six or, like, you know, 11. I mean, you got, like, you know, 16 candles when you really get up there. You got, um... I learned the truth at 17. Fly like a G6. I would accept that. I know I did bands, by the way. I don't think you should be able to do bands for this challenge. It makes it a little too easy. Seven Nation Army, eight days a week. That good stuff. Okay. And you could totally do this. 99 Luff Balloons. I, yeah, but once you get to 99, I'm pretty sure listening to all these songs in a row is like longer than the average human lifespan. When you factor in what came before it, especially. <laughs> What's that one Rent song? Excuse me, it's called Seasons of Love. It's not called 525,600 minutes. Yo, number 12 could be the 12 days of Christmas. So at the, at the very tippy top of the pyramid, you got to listen to the 12 days of Christmas and then all the other songs on the way back down. Oh, man. Beautiful. I believe we've teleported here already, but let's check. They should do holiday themed Peloton rides. They they do, unfortunately. I've never been here. What the hell? Another coffin. Miniature Ranny. How about that? People talk. The unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. Make sure you rest it to grace. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I do forget oftentimes. Talk to miniature Ranny, huh? She's like, eh. You got to do it again? Miyazaki, you you esoteric genius. Eh. A dogged fellow, aren't we? Bro, she said she's not interested. I have to talk to dolls. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedom. What the hell? Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. Chat, you just gave me a job. The witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Okay, I can do that. This is messed up. Yeah, you owe me for talking to me. I'm putting back on the Crucible Night stuff, man. You can't. You can't force me to keep wearing that garbage. But I got to compromise on the on the pants and the gloves. So you know what? Just give me some uh, vulgar militia gauntlets. And then how about... Okay, I'll tell you what. Just give me some uh, Alberix bracers. And then... Okay, I'll tell you what. Just give me some... Uh, give me some no bracers. I can remove this. I know how. And then give me... 
the Godskin Nobles trousers. Perfect. One day we're going to have this whole, uh, this whole armor set on. Next few levels are going in endurance so I can wear the whole kit and caboodle. But I did, if you weren't here at the start of the stream, I threw away uh, 500,000 souls. You know why? We don't negotiate with rune terrorists. I, when, when we were stuck a little bit, farming seemed like a sensible option. We've been, do, we've been at a really nice point on the difficulty curve. I don't want to blow that out by, you know, leveling 20 times more than I should just because of the fact that we... Hello. Um, love being the most helpful summon in game history. Nice try. Are you the Baleful Shadows, by the way? Hmm. I'm gonna guess you might be related to a Baleful Shadow, perhaps? I'm just gonna chill out for a second here. He's peppering me, man. Human bone shard. If you could build a super auto pets team with Elden Ring bosses, who would you take? Oh, man, that's a tough one. I feel like, um, I mean, I'm going to answer like an ancillary, uh, ancillary question. I feel like Margit, he's kind of like a mosquito. He gives you like the... He's got okay stats, but he also hits you with the light Yagami that's almost undodgeable. So let's make him like a mosquito. Radon? Oh no, I thought I was safe here. Radon is like a level 3 octopus. Like it's... He, he just does damage to you that, that is completely unavoidable. In my opinion. You know what? This charade has gone on long enough. The poise? The poise is incredible. What is melon armor? There's a there's a, a Diet Coke flavor, right? There's like a Coke freestyle combination that just gives you a... A melon armor... Uh, oh no! called the bubble tier. I do think Elden Ring ripped off Super Auto Pets. One of Miyazaki's many influences. Ah, ranged battle. It's gotta be like the least helpful message in Souls. It's like, hey, just so you know, if you really wanted to, you could, like, use a bow and arrow right here. You could use some sorceries. Go ahead! Take a chance! Do you ever craft in this game, or is it useless? I feel like you have hit me with a false dilemma. I don't know if I'd say that it's useless. But, he's gonna do a real attack. I can't believe it. I don't know how to... Any game where I don't have to interface with the crafting apparatus is great for me. I love that. Dude, Somber 7 is pretty good too. First off, water slide, all the more water slide. Water side, okay, oh, water side. Look at that, okay. 
Take me in. I wouldn't mind learning how to craft, um... Grease to use as a summon. I think there's no nothing resinous about that. Especially when you consider that, uh... Pretty much everybody who gets summoned alongside of me just uses the big blue beam that melts a boss's HP in like three seconds. Golden Rune 10. That's not so bad. Oh, I can't grease my weapons because they're both legendary. Well, you said it, not me. Oh, no. Shield Ant is very annoying. Not to be a degenerate gambler, but is the casino ever coming back? It's a rush. <laughs> I think that makes you a degenerate gambler, I'm sorry to say. As soon as you start describing it, it's not fun. It's instead like a, a rush of neurotransmitters. That's where you should start to be concerned, I think. Also, there's nothing to bet on yet. Like... Um, we, we might do some summon casino today, but I, I still like I need to find the right boss to get summoned for Misbegotten and crucible was like lightning in a bottle We I still do get summoned there on occasion T pose Praise the sage Likely gesturing. I love it um, Morgoth's pretty good But people do, um, oh, okay. They do die, like, literally, after watching a two-minute cutscene for the 20th time, many people just die nearly instantly, which is a little frustrating, but... Those aren't coming for me anyway, I'm not worried about it. Help. Help me. Hello, Raiders. Yo, we get raided by Automated, the, the developer extraordinaire of Squabble. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You know what you have to do now, though. I don't want to give you more work. You know, though, that you have no choice but to make a, a hurdle battle royale. A web-based hurdle battle royale where you hear one second of a song and have to guess what it is. And then Tetris 99 do damage to other units. That would be sick. Don't... Look, talk, speak with counsel first because I think you might possibly be able to get sued to oblivion. I don't know. Not by hurdle, but by the artists in question. One second is fine, just trust me. I mean, they're they're using, like, the Spotify player, right? So, like, I mean, I assume that means that the songs are getting played on Spotify, so they pick up, as a result, like, you know, one thirty-eighth of a cent in revenue per play or whatever. Still no item, I don't believe it. Yeah, there you go. Hurdle Royale with only Kevin McLeod songs and the Creative Commons license. This song uses Kevin McLeod's music. Please check out kevinmcleod.com in order to hear more. Today's hurdle kind of pog. I did do a hurdle the other day. But again, like, Hurdle is so weird, because it's just like, I don't know if it really fits, like, the, the Wordle uh, formula. Because, like, I never almost have it, and then get it as a result of listening more. I always just, like, it starts and it goes like... And I'm like, that's Weedus' teenage dirtbag. And if I don't know what it is after that, like, I'm never going to get it. Her name is Noel. I had a dream about her. She rings my bell. Ding. Yeah. 
Not interested. Yeah, I wonder why you haven't had any customers in a while. <laughs> so you, you set up uh, in an underground, uh, decrepit fortress that you need to take a purple mirror teleporter to get to? Grace? Grace? There's got to be a Grace here. Cheryl, anybody Cheryl Crow fans here? Any Cheryl Crow fans here? I said some Grace! Would do you good. I shouldn't be here. We are fighting... We're, we're fighting weak units and getting... What the hell? A golden rune level 3? I remember the first time we went down into an area with these enemies. And I thought that... We were in like an endgame world. Now these guys are just literally like... They're like mud. They're just dirt. My messages? My messages? Hold on, you guys just chill out for a minute. 18? We finally got into the double digits on our nerd message. Shortcut ahead, therefore joy, oh joy. Ew. I'm so pissed off that like at the end of a long hallway with a door, we put down a message that's like, basically says, hey, open this door. And it's our most performant message of all time. People are like, true door, dude. So true. I might delete it just out of a sense of principle. My most upvoted message is pointing at a turtle. Yeah, but does it say likely dog? Does it say dog ahead? Could this be a dog? Any chance I could get over there? Probably. I think they have to go back up. I'm not that concerned about it. I'm willing to bet that these items are probably like not that useful for me at my present state of the game. Ooh. Remember when these enemies used to like be something? I know we talked about it before, but like they're literally like nothing. Minutes ago. <laughs> Minutes ago. Golden Rune 3. You're not dead? Alright, if this is a boss, let's just one tap him. Get the heck out of here. Go back into the other area. Because I think we weren't supposed to go down the water side. Oh, water side. I'm just gonna say it, okay? Elden Ring, a little bit too big. How is one man supposed to keep all of these biomes and their relative position in his head? Is only too big if you're bad at exploring? No, I disagree with that statement. I think because you have a diamond membership from game FAQs, you assume that gives you great navigational skills, when what it actually means is you got great digital pathfinding skills, but in real life you have a hard time finding things that actually matter, like purpose. A, a good sleep health regimen. For example, the company of other like-minded individuals. 
I consider myself more of a spiritual explorer. I'm not... As long as there's maps, why would I explore, man? I was born too late to explore the world, too early to explore the galaxy. But a perfect opportunity for banter. Bolas? This guy's literally playing Death Stranding right now. Is this the area you were in yesterday? I don't know, man. The whole thing is like a... It's a Matrushka doll. Raiders, as soon as you think you got a handle on the map, they're like, by the way... I know that you're parked on P1. You might not have realized this on the way in, but the uh, parking lot actually goes down to like P8. You're like, what? I parked in B. I didn't know there was a Z. It is a classic Seinfeld bit for sure, for sure. Okay, well, where, where the hell's my lever, man? Golden Rune 3? It's literally right there. Okay, that's why I asked. Smithing Stone 1? I'm not supposed to be here. It's a light switch style one. I can find it. Look, we just saw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. <laughs> You ever read Don Norman's The Design of Everyday Things? I'm just saying, like, no wonder the world fell into disarray when they don't have a unified design principle for where to put, like, elevator levers. Now, go ahead and say it. The world would be so boring if I always knew how to interact with every system. I love getting into an elevator and not knowing how to get to the destination I want to go to. It makes life exciting because I'm a fucking idiot. Go ahead, say it. Say it. Where's your sense of adventure for being, like, mildly annoyed by every single machine you ever interact with? I love it. I love when my car spins out on the snow. Just a little shot of adrenaline to start your day. Say it. Did you read it? What did you think? I talk about it a lot. Well, uh, once every two months. Whoops. Newman? Newman. Hello, Jerry. Lord Egg. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel, we were, we were talking smack. I, was, I apologize. We were just about to talk about Don Norman's uh, The Design of Everyday Things. But now I got I to gotta own up to the fact that we were talking smack about you. Now, here's the thing. I know that by saying this, you're also going... It's, it's only going to make... It's going to reinforce what we were talking smack about. So I apologize for that. But you got to level your HP. Like, I would very much recommend it. I know what you're going to say, because it's literally the same thing that everybody else says. You don't need to level HP if you don't get hit. Yeah, but you get hit. Like, it would be like a different story if it looked reasonable that you were gonna like you know do it without getting hit but that doesn't appear to be the case and also like ch I'm, I'm not trying to cause problems but chat was like he's having trouble with Ranala right now if you're having trouble with Ranala you don't even know what's on the horizon for you and i'm not being like it's not bm it's just sincere i don't even think i had leveled vigor by the time i got to ranala at least i'd only leveled it maybe like a couple of times but like ranala is nothing she's literally just like a lady didn't you have trouble with them i mean like for like an hour, maybe? They, in the whole scheme of things, like, that is not... She did not cause me a crisis, you know? Like, 
a couple, not a couple bosses. Well, you know, literally a couple bosses in this game have caused, caused me a crisis. I don't want to say their names because it would uh, spoil it for Dan. But they were right next to one another in Caleb. <laughs> Which would probably be a good enough uh, explanation for who they are. It's not disrespect. It's actually literally respect because everybody else is going, so true, so true. Oh, no, he can do it. He can you can do it. It's just going to be... I mean, I guess what I would say is I think that it's going to compromise your actual enjoyment of the game. To have a, co a commitment to not leveling up... Uh, not leveling up your, your HP. And especially if you're not going to level up your HP, you got to amp up your weapon. You got to give your weapon some love. Because, like, the weapon upgrades are worth, like... Every weapon upgrade is, like, at least five levels worth of utility. Why does your game look so good? Because it's on the PS5, baby. It's a next-gen console. I don't want to be here. Come on. Don't you want a little bit of this? You don't want a little bit of this weapon? You'd rather have, you know, the Lord's straight sword plus zero? Come on. No disrespect, but do you need help navigating in this area? Well, the problem is that Chad thinks that I'm en route to a destination and keep going in the wrong direction. The reality of the situation is I'm just vibing right now. I'm living my life. I'm clearing out these guys so I can get the cognitive space to think a little bit. There we go. Strong foe ahead, seek left. Okay, sure. I'm not going in a circle. I picked up an item from platforming. It just so happens that like every item in this game, it was something designed for int users because it's not enough for them to simply have a spell that kills all the bosses in one hit. They also need to get, oh, it's a cool ring that raises your int. It's a, oh, it uh, causes your magic stats to rise, but you take more damage. Not that that matters at all because you're not going to take damage because you're going to summon Blade the, the Wolf of Disrespect to tank all the hits for you while you go brrrr. That's not what Celestial do is. As far as I'm concerned, that is what it is. Boss? Ant boss? Ant boss? Cake boss? Int users be like, yeah, Elden Ring is so hard. It was so hard for me to uh, stay awake. I also almost had to buy a second PlayStation 5 controller because my left bumper got a little squeaky. Formic Rock. Crystal Dart. I'm main-handing a staff? That's fine. I mean, like... As long as you don't have your webcam on like Jeffrey Tubin, You know, I'm not gonna be a hater. You gotta do what you gotta do. No strong foe ahead. Clutch... Clutch Jeffrey Tubin reference. Very contemporary. <laughs> strong foe ahead? Likely cramped area. Behold, bug. Group ahead in short dog? Bug, I want to go home. Oh, I want to go home. What the hell? This is the way we came. I was so excited. That guy is a liar. You should... At one... In each area... You should get one super disparage. 
that actually just kills, like it vaporizes a message on the ground. Like, if this is the way to the boss, I would vaporize this message. First off, left, and then try right. No liar ahead. First off, left. And then try right. Why is it always mushroom? So true. No, I don't mind that, like, disparaging gives someone healing. Because, like, disparaging... It's basically like paying a royalty, right? Like, I used their content to laugh at. So, sure, they can take a little HP bonus. I mean, if they're leaving, like, messages that are that bad, they probably need the HP to begin with. Boss? Bossa? Bossa? Dragonkin soldier of Noxtella. Can't you hear me, Ella? You're putting me through Ella. <laughs> I think we're a little over leveled for this section. I, th I think we were supposed to find this earlier. Can we fight a guy like this before? You just hang, hang out in his kneecaps? Go ahead, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna be like a lightning boy? Just trying to make it? Phase two with 20% of your health remaining. Seems good. We out here? We still out here? That's why you level your green. Well, come on! I'm sipping, I don't care. That, that's why you level your strength. Oh, he's already dead, okay. Well, <laughs> I got a little scared there. Trophy earned? Tro you listen, you spying on me, you little shit? Every time we get a trophy and it turns our controller mic on, I want everybody in chat to say free shmurda. Okay? He's already free. It's the principle of the thing, okay? He's free, my man. He's already been free. It's, it's Some of you said you would never forget, and you seem to have forgotten. Free Shavakadu. That's another good one. Hey, the Great Ghost Glovewort. An incredible crafting material used to craft um, holy grease. When applied to your weapon, does plus 36% times your faith stat a uh, holy damage scaling, which is also plus 75% uh, uh, versus undead. Yeah, well, how about this? You think I need that shit? Not interested. Remember when he made jokes instead of just saying random things? I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else realize that Jeffrey Tubin is just the Pee Wee Herman of the political class of CNN? I mean, come on! <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just... It was on my mind. So true, though. I'm done in this dungeon, right? I gotta go up a level. You have to go to the well gate. Oh, man. River Main, this is where we went down but did not have to go down. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Like, every People don't realize, like, they have so little self-awareness. I see this post from time to time. 
people will be like, you know what? The vibes have just been weird for like a year now. And I'm like, the vibes are the same. You're just fucking 20. When you started watching me, you were 16. You've lived like another 25% of your life. Of course, the content doesn't hit the same. When you drink a grape juice and you're eight years old, you're like, this shit is pog. You drink a grape juice and you're like 16. You're like, what the hell am I doing with my life? Talk to Ranny though? Okay, talk to Ranny. Talk to Ranny. I was 18, now I'm 30. Well, I've changed too. I'm not saying I haven't changed. We've changed together. Perform for me as eliminate the name of Raiwon. I already talked the name of Rani the I will not to Rani. You peace? The contents pog, I'm just salty you muted me on Twitter. Well, I mean like one good turn deserves another, to be honest with you. Like if you got muted on Twitter, you probably said some fucking ignorant shit. So like be salty. I was probably salty I had to read your message in the first place. I like wake up at 6.45 in the morning, you know, baby crying, getting ready to uh, put on my bike shorts and work out. And then you say, hey, you know, you ever, uh, well, in the Isaac episode today, you uh, said something was a range up, but it was actually a shot speed up. Uh, I'm like, muted. Sorry to tell you. <laughs> it's the way the cookie crumbles. You're, you're, you know, it's my social network. It's not the, the NL uh, complaint department. That's the subreddit. Do not watch this video at 3.35 a.m. Do not. Okay, I know we're in a better area because these flowers are annoying. Are you gravity flowers? What are you? Lightning flowers? Rot flowers? I also learned never to fight them because they never give you anything and it's just a waste of everybody's time. Behold, don't you dare. Okay, maybe we will fight them. They're madness. I would like this though. I would like... Okay, you gotta go first so you don't knock me over the waterfall. At what age do you think you will pass away? That reminds me of an Alanis Morissette song. All I really want. When she goes, why are you so petrified of silence? Here, can you handle this? And then they do a very base maneuver. And they just have three seconds of complete silence. And then she goes, uh, did you think about your bills, your ex, your deadlines? Or when you think you're gonna die? Clutch Alanis reference? 